Alrighty, so here we have YNXA being played on uh, the Atari Lynx, uh, courtesy of um, Yes Duna Games. Um, and this is a pretty interesting game. We're going to options first, so we have the option of playing with music or not playing with music. I'm going to leave the music on when you're new. It was a shiny day. Leaf was lounging, rocked by a light wind, when suddenly the wind rose and Leaf heard a little voice, I need your help again. Leaf was carried by the wind for hours beyond forests and mountains. After the sun set, everything went dark and cold. Then everything stopped. Leaf was lying on the grass, alone. Leaf opened his eyes. Well, maybe not alone. Welcome, Leaf. I am the Elemental of Air, and I called you in order to restore the harmony in the pyramid. Alrighty. Oh, okay. So this is a puzzle platformer. Uh, glad to see you. I'm the Elemental of Water. You can't use ladders, but your powers will be very useful once unleashed. Hello, I am the Elemental of Fire. In order to achieve your mission, you will need to use each element wisely. Oh, okay, so he says the same thing. So like I said, this is a puzzle platformer where you have to solve puzzles uh, getting through each room of this pyramid. Welcome, Leaf. Your first goal is to collect gems in order to unleash your powers. There are 20 gems for each element, but you don't have to collect them all. Once your training is over, in order to prove your bravery, find the Temple of Perseverance. Then you will have to restore the harmony in the pyramid. Bring the five lost ceremonial objects to the sacred tree. Good luck, Leaf. So it's quite a bit for, for a Lynx game, I would think. Um, usually, Lynx games are bite-sized, but this game's pretty, uh, pretty hefty. So you play as Leaf here. I love how it saves uh, ah, incrementally. Uh, yeah, here I said that. Okay. So it's showing you. Oh, I need to go in here and get the it's ability here. So you come in here and get the. There's ability to jump. You got to get it from this set of rooms here. So you collect these little gems. So I'm playing this on my phone uh, using a PlayStation 4 controller, if anybody's wondering. And I'm actually playing it in the uh, 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 um, uh, Argon em uh, emulator. Uh, jump. Now you can jump. Press A button to jump. Okay, and for me that's square. Sorry, a circle. See, so yeah, I'm playing in Argon. Um, I'm going to play this because... Uh, during their public beta, they give you access to the premium feature of using your own ROMs. Um, and this this ROM was given to me by uh, by the developer and publisher for the purposes of this review. And I'm sure, like all their games, this will this game will eventually be uh, available for sale. And once it is, I'll definitely leave links to purchase the game in the description. Uh, but yeah, this game's pretty cool. I like how it looks. I like how it plays. It, it's I like how it uses the different elements. Puzzle elements are nice. Um, I wish there was an uh, I wish there was an attack, but uh, <clears throat> but the enemies are there just as an obstacle, which is fine. I mean, for a puzzle platformer, you really don't need. An attack button as long as you can uh, easily avoid your uh, your enemies. And I like how you don't really get lost in the game because if you can't get somewhere, whoa, whoa, you can't get somewhere. <laughs> I was close. Um, the game doesn't like punish you. It's like okay, you just have to find another way to to go the direction you're trying to go. Uh, there are some foes lurking here and there. They are not the here just for the decor. Be careful. Uh, that's right. I forgot about that bat. 
But like I said, the game doesn't punish you like other games. Like uh, I've I played in the past, where you get stuck and you're just kind of stuck. Um, but uh, I did it again. But uh, but yeah, this is, this is a really nice game. Uh, look, like I said, looks good. Plays great. Um, it's got a nice, cute little little leaf character you play as here. Uh, it's not too difficult. Um, it definitely, <laughs> definitely um, challenges you and and you know makes you think. And it's it's overall a really fun, fun, neat little uh, game on the Atari Lynx. Uh, one I would definitely highly recommend. Um, anyone play if they're a fan of, of the Lynx or a fan of uh, uh, puzzle platformers, this is definitely worth worth picking up. I'm gonna go back the other way. Um, I'll go ahead and grab the double jump ability and and call it here. I was actually one time actually I ended up getting st not not stuck, but I ended up going in circles because I wasn't going through the correct direction. It's all good though. Okay, we're gonna go back over here. Grab this gem here. Go down here. Okay. Double jump. Press A while in the air to go where no leaf has gone before. Now it's important for me to note that the the double jump ability, um, playing this on an emulator, I think is is partly blamed for why it feels a little floaty. I think if we were playing it on uh, a system that had a wired controller um, instead of a wireless one, like I'm playing with, um, or if you were on an actual Atari Lynx, I don't think it would feel as floaty. Um, Say so if I jump, sometimes it'll it'll jump funny like that. Um, and I think it's just, I think it's just the input lag from this uh, particular controller. I wouldn't think it would happen on a retail cartridge or on a retail Lynx. Or as a ROM on an actual Lynx, for that matter. Oh, actually, I'll show this actually to you guys as well. So here's where you change elements. This is kind of cool. So now I'm now the water element. <laughs> and now. Uh, I, I can't do it yet, but I'm actually going to get another ability here in just a second. If I can just get all these little... Gems. These small passages are annoying, but now you can slide underneath under them. There's that, and then... So now you can go this way. And there's another one you eventually get that's kind of cool as you flood uh, corridors. <laughs> it's kind of cool. And that is actually yeah, through here. Oh, went the wrong way with that one. But yeah, like I said, the game doesn't does doesn't punish you at all. Gives you a chance to figure out where you went wrong and continue on, which I really, really like. Floody, once fallen, once fallen in a pit, keep a press to fl flood and escape, and even better. So that's cool. Now that you, now that you play as the little water flood guy, you can uh, uh, be. Um, Temporarily invulnerable to the bats. It's kind of neat. And yeah, again, I think the controls are uh, the way they are because of my controller. I, I honestly believe that. I mean, and and I I'm, I mean I will admit I, I could be wrong on that, but I don't think I am. Alrighty, well I'm gonna end the review here, guys. It's been a look at YNXA. Um. I'm I'm assuming that's that's I'm uh, I'm assuming that's how you say because it it's all in caps. Um, I want to thank the uh, publisher and developer for the viewer opportunity. This game is awesome, um, and uh, yeah, if you guys want to check it out, uh, when and if it goes live, I'll leave the link in the description uh, down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. 
Um, well, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.